Hey, good evening, everyone. Welcome. Uh, what is today? Sunday. Sunday night racing. Uh, this is this is ranked. Uh, this is a quote unquote rookie server. Um, basically, all that means is um, this is for well anyone, anyone really. But um, uh, this can be for uh, racers that are below seventy-five. Uh, reputation, I believe. I forget. Um, the rookies, I guess I should say, the rookies, the rookie servers, quote unquote, rookie servers are for count, are for the uh, the newer folks uh, to race room. This is where they start. This is where they build up their reputation, the rating. Um, but that also allows other people to race in here as well. So. Um, it can be a good collection of people within these servers. Um, my apologies as I quickly got this stream up and going. Hopefully it looks good. We're here on Twitch. Thank you for uh, stopping by and watching if you do. Uh, we are also recording, so this will be up on YouTube uh, later. So as always, uh, you know, follow the North America Race Room Twitch page. Uh, find your way over to the North America Race Room YouTube page. Uh, and finally, make sure you find your way to the North America Race Room Discord community. Uh, there will be there will be links to all of this uh, everywhere. So if you're here on Twitch, there's links to the Discord and the YouTube already. Uh, if, you, if you're watching on the YouTube side, there will be links to the Twitch side. So... That way everyone sees everything, uh, and that's what we're trying to do. Uh, no matter where we stream, uh, a video will be posted uh, on YouTube. Uh, no, usually a higher resolution, or at least we try to get a higher resolution video um, to make it a little bit easier. And as I'm saying that, I'm kind of also messing around with... the bit rate here a bit just to see if I can get it a little bit better a little bit more there's less chop less buffering um, this won't affect YouTube if you're watching later this is really just for the live stream so um, here we are F uh, Sunday night uh, this is gonna be a 15 minute race it's gonna be a small one this is the silhouette series at Zandfort um, Zandfort is this is also if I remember correctly, this is the club, uh, the club outline, not outline, gosh, circuit, layout, whatever, sorry, I'm really off my, uh, really off my game as I scramble to get this going for, uh, the various people out there and the various people racing, that way they can watch this later, or any, if anyone wants to watch this live right now, um, but, uh, what are we seeing here? Grimy Dog, this is just practice. Uh, a 1044. Uh, he is currently P1. And uh, you know, you've got some folks on back from there. Um, 12 have posted a time. But if we look at the... If we look at the uh, the broadcast software, there are 18 people in this server. So this is going to be extremely intense uh, since it's only a 15-minute race. Um, so you will see... You will see a lot of uh, pressure. You will see a lot of people pushing the envelope. Uh, we may see a lot of uh, beating and banging door-to-door um, -door action because in 15 minutes you have a very limited time to try to get yourself to the, to the front uh, to either stay there or give yourself the best opportunity to win or come P1, P2, P3, you know, whatever. Uh, so... I have I personally have not done a 15 minute race in quite a while uh, they, t they tend to be uh, very crazy compared to the long races of you know the 30 minute ones the hours or even the quote unquote endurance races on Wednesdays um, but you know these servers like I said are where people normally start if they don't have the 80 reputation or above to get into the other ranked servers or um, you know, depending on what part of the world you're in, sometimes uh, the European Endurance Wednesday servers are 
spaced out between reputation and rating. Uh, here on the American side, they're not. So anyone can really get into the Wednesday end endurance race, no matter where you are. But uh, if you want to get into the other combinations of ranked racing, uh, you got to be above 75 uh, or 75 even. But most of them require, if it's not a quote unquote rookie server, um, require an 80 rating, no, 80 reputation and above. So, we will probably see some names in here that we have not seen, uh, maybe ever. Um, I, there are definitely some new folks in here, uh, racing from the American side, uh, that are uh, kind of brand new to the North America race room community. Uh, some we've seen, you know, uh, briefly in the last couple races, some we've never seen before at all. You've got Rangy Rover from the Australian side. Uh, he's everywhere. He's uh, well known. Uh, he's in here trying to... Uh, trying to show people how to do this so it's, it's going to be fun um, as for this stream or, and or this recording uh, right now uh, we will at least do this 15 minute race uh, we'll then kind of see if folks are going to stick around for another one um, these, these 15 minute race servers are on a constant rotation so once a, once a race finishes um, the server kind of starts itself and we go back into practice qualifying and racing all over uh, the same combination of the silhouettes and the uh, the circuit of uh, Zanfort so we'll see what happens once this all finishes uh, but as we go through qualifying here uh, Richard Blatcher uh, we've seen him before uh, he right now uh, in P1 of a 1-4 Point four, uh, Grimy Dog comes in three one hundredths right behind them, so they are very close. Uh, and we're going to start seeing the times start rolling in. Uh, this is the, like I said, the club, the club circuit um, of Zanfort, so it's not the full. Um, this one goes. I don't have a track layout because uh, I scrambled to get this going. Um, but here's what we'll do: is we will find someone who's just starting their lap to go. In, in the car with them, and there's your kind of in-car lap. We can at least do that. Um, let's see if we can find... Where's Rangy at? Rangy's on the back side. Um, William Lebowski. Uh, he is, uh, he's brand new as of maybe today or yesterday to the North America Race Room community, so welcome to him. And, uh, you know, happy that he's here. Actually, you know what? Let's just go through. He's coming up close. So here's the normal uh, back stretch down into the start finish line of Zanfort. And once you cross the start finish line, you're going to come up to the normal turn one. Uh, that goes all the way around. That might be turn one and two. I'm not sure. And then you flow through the normal track of Zanfort here for a bit. So you've got your normal up to the uh, right hander there, into the sweeping left hander uh, here. And then up here is where the difference happens. Um, instead of continuing on the straight, it comes to a very quick uh, right-hander. It's going to get you into the back the backside, basically, of the uh, circuit. Uh, so it throws you there into the very quick um, right-left chicane, which then will feed you into, I'm not sure what turn number it would be at this point, but basically the very long sweeping right-hander of the uh, the end the back side of the course which then feeds you back into the start finish line so very quick very short very quick um, some technical bits to it um, obviously a lot shorter than the normal Zandvoort and um, you know not too terribly difficult uh, if you know Zandvoort um, it really just cuts out quite a bit of it but uh, you know other than that, not too bad. Uh, as we see, um, Tar Tarkin has now come up on P1 with a 104.3, so there's your new uh, pole sitter. Let's move around to the, since we saw the in-car lap, hopefully everyone enjoyed that. Hopefully you enjoy it later if you're watching on YouTube. Who's here? Hey, Theo's in here. Theo, Peter, good to see you all. Uh, thank you for bearing uh, with me with the whatever, uh, however the stream looks. It looks okay from the Twitch uh, page I have up on now. 
Hopefully I sound okay. Hopefully I don't sound too bad. I'm obviously not really prepared uh, on any talking points at the moment. So, we'll see how this goes. But, uh, you know, like I said earlier, uh, if you're here on Twitch, thank you for, for watching. Uh, make sure you follow. Uh, there is a link here on this Twitch page to the North America Race Room YouTube page and to the North America Race Room Discord community. Find your way to both of those. Uh, the YouTube, um, well, they're both very important. The, the Discord, obviously, is where we all, where we all get together, um, where we all plan um, what races we're going to do. Um, on Monday nights, right now, we're in the second season of the uh, Community Championship with the DTM 95 class. Uh, what are we coming up on? Week round seven, I believe. Seven of eight. If my math, if, if my memory serves me correctly. Uh, that's on Monday night, so we'll be back tomorrow night with a uh, stream recording uh, of that. Um, coming up on Wednesday, we have the GT4 Endurance Race. Um, I don't even know if I can pronounce the, uh, the circuit at the moment, but um, check it out. Uh, a 90-minute race. Um, GT4s. It's it's uh, basically kind of mimicking the uh, the DTM Trophy uh, races of this weekend. Um, same track, a little, little different layout, but uh, the GT4 equivalent class. So that should be really fun. Uh, hopefully, we see a pretty good turnout, um, at least from the uh, North America Race Room community, the Discord community. But then we'll also, I'm sure, see folks outside of the community, but on this side of the world. So hopefully, we have a really good turnout of people um after after wednesday we then have the friday night community races and those are the races that uh we come up with the track and the the vehicle combination uh those are unranked those are for fun those are for um even extra practice you know if it's if it's a combination that uh you know that you like or a car that you like that's coming up you know, in any of the ranked um, servers or the, the track or, or whatnot. Um, but those are really fun. Uh, every Friday night we get together, like I said, uh, two 20-minute races. So, you know, we we kind of split it up to not not kill anyone. Um, that way there's a slight break in between of about five minutes. So, um, so with that, uh, Mohammed, uh, Udia, I say his name wrong every time, so I apologize for that. P1, which is very nice. Uh, Twitch TV uh, Tar Tarkin, P2. Grammy Dog, P3. Richard Blatcher, P4. Sir Jota, P5. Thomas Cowart, P6. Caesar Salgan, P7. Junior Batista, P8. Steve Lewis, P9. Rangy Rover, P10. Um, and then some of the Americans start coming in after that. Uh, Annie Morehouse, P11. William Lebowski, P12. Emory Anderson, P13. Roman Fields, P14. Um, 14 people posted at a time, and it looks like we have, at least as of right now, 15 people in there, so someone did not set a time, um, but hey, 14, 14 people for a, uh, for a quick Friday, Saturday night, sun, geez, Sunday night, my days are all mixed up at the moment, um, 15 people for a Sunday night rookie, quote unquote rookie race is a, a very good turnout, so we should hopefully see um, some good action here. Um, I'm not really sure what the software... We have to wait until the cars start to populate um, on the track. There we are. So here we all are. That was my phone in the background. My apologies. So we're ready to go. Yeah, 15 people are here. And this should be fun. This should be fun to watch. Let's try to... They're off. Just like that. Lights are out. It looks like uh, Tarkin had a great start. Let's go in car here. Richard Blatcher right now P4 coming up. Oh, going in awful, uh, awful hard. But uh, manages to stay out of uh, Muhammad there in P4. Let's go back to... Who's this? Muhammad in P4. Trying to get his way back on Richard after losing a spot there. 
as they uh, come down the uh, very short back stretch into the club portion of the circuit. I'm not really sure how well I'm going to be able to uh, really talk my way through all the action because these cars should stay relatively close together. And it's a relatively short circuit with just over a minute. So uh, these cars will be bunched together like crazy. They're going to be everywhere. Uh, let's move to the back. Steve Lewis here in P8. As they come down the start-finish line straight, and you're going to see everyone start, uh, you know, they're going to start trying to break some draft if there is any. So they're going to be, uh, they're going to be weaving all over the place here, and they are all so close. Uh, P1 through P8 to uh, range eight, P9 coming in with that Castrol, and then we saw a little bit of a touch between Steve Lewis and Caesar Salgan. But uh, everyone at the moment is staying very clean, keeping it very respectful. And uh, again, it's really there's a three second gap there between P11 and uh, Roman Fields and P13. But I'm going to let, I guess, just the auto director take over because I can't click around enough or fast enough to really keep my eyes on, eyes on anything. Um, I'll try to do the helicopter cam, but I'm not even sure. Uh, yeah. I don't know if I've mapped that. My apologies for flowing through about 30 cameras there in two seconds. So we're just going to leave it on this. This is just the TV display. Uh, there's a Junior Batista, P6, and a little bit of touch there, a little bit of touch between Richard Blatcher and SR Jota for P4 and 5. Getting on the Junior Batista there, getting on the back of, oh, here we go, oh, there we are, there we are. So it looks like Richard Blatcher and SR Jota got together there at the wrong spot from, uh, the full track to the club track and then Richard Blatcher comes across with a very unsafe rejoin but uh, he came back across and somebody clipped him and uh, that just spells even further disaster especially in a 15 minute race because there's not a whole lot of time left to try to get yourself put it back into this um, so the software as of moment is on P6 here Steve Lewis. Uh, two tenths behind Caesar Salgan there. Rangy Rovers moved his way up from P10 to P7. Uh, he's about six tenths behind those two there. Uh, Mohammed uh, keeping it uh, keeping it going here in P3. It's a very good uh, very good drive from him so far. He's keeping it close to, uh, to Tarkin there. He's about three tenths back and um, Tarkin there in P2 is about one second behind Grammy Dog out in P1. And what we're going to do is we're going to put on the compare next car the way you can see. So I don't throw that up often because uh, I usually don't switch to it. But uh, what you're going to see there with that graphic is whoever the software is focused on will be the um, lower position. So right now it's on Mohammed. He's three tenths behind P2 uh, in Tarkin there. So when it switches around to anyone else, always remember that the car it's focused on is the one on the right of the graphic with the person in front of them on the left of the graphic. see what's happening here Let's make sure it jumps around so Muhammad here is still in p3 um, they are they're the closest but let's let's go back to Rangy here actually let's go to Thomas Cowart uh, doing the cockpit and he gets a little bit too much into the throttle and unfortunately comes around he might have to sit there for just a bit to avoid anyone so that's gonna put him back unfortunately it's gonna put him back probably multiple places 
that's a, that's a, that's a, be a tough spot to try to get facing the right way without uh, potentially taking someone out coming around that corner. But here we are with Rangy Rover, P7. Uh, he's gained three positions from the start. And uh, this is a great view of how you know, these four folks here from uh, Junior Batista in the front, Cesar Salgan uh, behind, uh, Steve Lewis, and then Rangy Rover right here. So we're going to keep an eye on these four to see how they're doing. The, they are kind of the closest at the moment. Muhammad and uh, Tarkin, P3 and P2, very close as well. So if I see anything on the, uh, the software, Getting a, having a closer battle. We'll switch around to that. But uh, this group here, and then the P2 and P3 group, are the closest battles at the moment. Um, unfortunately, with some with some slight incidents throughout the field, uh, it's kind of thrown some people all over the place. Uh, Thomas Cowart is now uh, 10 seconds back from P14, he's in P15. And then uh, Richard Blatcher and S.R. Jota there in P11 and 12. Uh, they were kind of up in the front, had an, had an incident, and now they've flown to the back. Uh, we've kind of got about eight minutes to go. These quick hitter, quick hitter servers. Fast and furious and uh, full of action. Rangy's just, uh, Rangy's keeping it clean, and he's also uh, potentially waiting for someone to, uh, to make a mistake so he can pounce. As these two right here are coming together, so that's uh, Cesar Salgan and Steve Lewis. Getting a little close, getting even more. That's some uh, door to door action. Uh, they may just be. Uh, Bumping into each other, maybe now uh, out of a uh, little bit of uh, anger, perhaps. I don't know. Rangy kind of gets into the back there. He's just Salgan. Um, probably just because Rangy did not expect him to slow down as much as he did, perhaps. Uh, but this group here is catching up to uh, Muhammad in P3. So and Junior Batista there. The first orange car in the picture is now, what, about 1.6 seconds to Muhammad. So, in the long straight, you can see Muhammad right there going around the chicane. Uh, so, they are closing the gap on the entire field here um, from Rangy. Rangy gets a little loose, and Rangy gets very loose. Rangy is trying to get it straight. She does, luckily, with enough time between him and William Lebowski. Eight to stay in seventh, but now has a eight second gap to Caesar Sultan. So let's move this up to Muhammad, who is fighting with Twitch Tarkin and has gotten around him. Went the long way around turn one, so now a switch up at the front with Muhammad going into second and uh, Tarkin in P3. Um, and Junior Batista about 1.8 seconds behind these two here. And let's get on some new folks. William Lebowski here it seems to have dropped one position to Andy Morehouse. And is now about 8 tenths behind from P9. We'll stick here a little bit. Richard Blatcher is the second blue car in the picture there in P10. He's about... Eight, nine tenths behind William Lebowski here in P9. Let's move up. Steve Lewis is getting very close. He is uh, testing here Junior Batista down the front stretch into the into the start finish line. We're on the dash. He's gotten around him. He's close. They go in very tight, door to door, trying to keep it clean, trying to hit each other. They're going to be drag racing down here, through, and they get into each other there. And Steve Lewis manages to hold on. Which is very nice. See the sweeping left. They are still touching. They are still drag racing. Um, you know, 
you do not really want to give up a spot. You also don't want to take anyone completely out. But uh, like, like I said, with the with the short time servers in 15 minutes, you you know you have to do whatever you can to hold on to the position. Granted, not not be disrespectful or unsportsmanlike or take someone out completely just to keep your position, but you have to have your elbows out a little further than what you would in the longer race servers as you might have more time to try to get your position back. So uh, we are now under four minutes to go. Uh, that'll probably be where Grimey is. Grimey's... In through the, uh, the sweep on the left. So I would imagine probably three laps left, including this one they're on. So once Rangy comes across the line, I would say two two more to go, I believe. That's my, uh, that's my educated guess. We're going to focus on Junior Batista here. Uh, Cesar Salgan is the second orange car in the picture about eight tenths behind uh, Junior Batista here is pushing Steve Lewis to the limit about two tenths uh, these two have been going at it for uh, the last few laps they've touched a bit they've gone door to door a bit they've dragged race a bit they are they are all in trying to secure P4 as they come down the stretch front stretch in turn one uh, Junior might try to jump on the inside, but he cannot. Can't close the door. They seem like they touch the air a little bit, which puts Junior into the grass ever so slightly. But he is still hounding Steve Lewis for all that he has. Sr. Jota uh, hounding hounding a Andy Morehouse just a bit, uh, about two tenths back. He's gonna try to go to the inside. He tried to get a slight run. He's not able to. Uh, Andy Morehouse there with with uh, good speed on the outside. Sr. Jota there goes a little bit wide, which, is, which will now create about a five tenths of a second gap between these two. What else do we have here? Let's move up for Caesar Salgan. It's about nine tenths. We're gonna move up one more of those. Junior Batista and Steve Lewis. These two, these two really have been kind of the closest for the last few laps. Uh, but they are gonna. We're down to two laps to go, including this one we're on. So really one lap after this. Uh, Grimey's coming into the uh, club into the club turn as I will refer to it. And these three are pretty much right with each other so uh, they're going to race hard. They're going to hope for maybe a, a mistake that's not caused by them. And they're going to go into it. They are now down to the front stretch coming up to the start finish line. Uh, this will be the final lap. And this grimy, yeah, so grimy is just now into turn one. So yeah, this is definitely the final lap for all these racers. Here goes Junior Batista to the outside. Like he gets into the back of Steve Lewis a bit onto the grass, pushes Steve Lewis maybe off a bit, makes his way there. Caesar Salgan is now going to try it as well. Focus there, so Steve Lewis is kind of getting hounded by uh, two two orange silhouettes here. But uh, looks like uh, Caesar is now about six tenths back, so we will keep it right here. Let's go with the cockpit cam, where we can kind of see everybody. But here they are into the chicane. We're gonna see if they, everyone holds it. We'll probably just stay right here. Actually, grimy, as I always try to do. He's going to come in as your P1. Grammy Dog, position number one with a race win. There it is. Mohammed Ayudia, P2. Uh, Tarkin, P3. 
Junior Batista made it for P4. Steve Lewis comes in P5. Cesar Salgan there, P6. Uh, Richard Blatcher is going to be coming around about eight seconds behind P6 into P7. Uh, Rangy Rover up two positions from where he started, but down in P8. SR Jota comes by in P9, P10, Andy Morehouse. P11, Martin. I won't even try to say the last name. Thomas Cowart, P12. William Lebowski, P13. Emery Anderson coming around at P14. And Roman Fields will be your P15. And there are the official results as I just went through all of them. So uh, Richard Blatcher actually had the fastest lap of a 104.7. Uh, and your race winner, Grammy Dog. Best lap for him was a 105, almost a 105 flat. Um, so, uh, a few incidents um, within that race. Uh, it's, you'll always probably have that within these shorter races because, you know, like I said, it's, it's a race to the front to try to stay in the front. And then if you're not in the front, then it's a race to get in front of the person that you're racing with. That sounded really bad, but I, I mean, you have... You basically have to push yourself to try to get ahead of the person. Um, so that race is over. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the Discord here to see if anyone's going to go again, which they might. So bear with me. You're probably going to see just the... We're going to see the server browser here in just a second. Um, if I had any pr promos to run, I'd run them right now, but I don't have any. So if I go quiet, you'll know why, because I'm really just looking at the community discord to see what anyone might do. Um, thank you to those that uh, joined us for a little bit on the Twitch side. Um, thank you to those who are maybe watching this later on the YouTube side. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, follow, set your notifications up, comment if you want to. Uh, tell us what we're doing bad. Tell us what we're doing good. Uh, I am in no way a professional broadcaster of any kind or professional streamer. So um, if you find this all to be a little on the amateur side, you are correct. But uh, we do these to just showcase the community and the, the people in the community. So But to all those that, that are following, uh, thank you for following. Um, to all those that have subscribed to the YouTube channel, thank you uh, there. You know, thank you for the likes, thank you for the views. Uh, it all plays a part with what we're trying to do uh, for everyone. Uh, but uh, I would have to say a lot of people are fl fl uh, flowing out of the uh, voice chat. So I'm going to have to say that we're probably finished. Um, so I will sign off. I will end this short stream. Short, quick, um, very good racing. Um, from the folks that were in there. Um, but uh, we'll be around tomorrow night. Tomorrow night is, I'll tell you what, we'll do some promos. I don't, I don't have any graphics, but I will at least be able to tell you what's coming up. So bear with me for one moment. Tomorrow night will be the North America Race Room Season 2 Championship of the DTM 95 class. And we are going to be at Brands Hatch. The full Brands Hatch. That'll be really fun. It's going to be fun to watch. It's going to be fun to uh, race in. So if, if you're signed up for that championship, make sure you can find your way out to it. Uh, if you're not signed up, and, you know, if, if you missed it seven weeks ago uh, for the signups, if you're brand new to the community, uh, make sure and watch the stream. Uh, it's very fun. If I'm racing and not just commentating, then we have the, the community voice channel um up and, and you know so 
you can hear everyone. So it's not just um, dead air with the sounds of the game. You'll hear uh, chatter from everyone involved in the race uh, through the Discord. So it's pretty fun. It adds a little bit of you know, potential excitement uh, to everything. Um, so after Monday, we then have uh, coming up on Wednesday. And uh, like I said, there's going to be the GT4 class at the Lautst. No. Lausit ring? Lausit's ring. Maybe. Look it up on the uh, race room uh, uh, official server listing and you'll see it. But it's a 90 minute race. So it's going to be a uh, 90 minute endurance. Um, pit strategies will come into play. We'll see what everyone takes uh, within the various GT4 classes. There's five manufacturers but then six different vehicles that can be that can be uh, chosen so it should be pretty fun i'm looking forward to it uh, the gt4s don't come up all that often or they do but i don't race i don't race them so it should be fun to to do um this week is sunday so we've yet to put together next friday's community racing so once that comes out if you're in the discord look out for it uh, if you're not in the Discord yet, but you're watching this, uh, click the link either on the Twitch side or on the YouTube side. Jump in, introduce yourself. You know, tell us how you found how you found out about us. You know, where where you saw something or where you read something. Um, get together for, for us on the race room, or if you're into other sims. Um, you know, there's plenty of people in there, including myself, who do other things than just race rooms. So it's a great place to be. Gosh damn! Uh, I just saw a follow from you. Thank you, uh, Peter Stefani. Uh, Thirty-five minutes ago. Thank you for following. Uh, anyone else following the Twitch side? Thank you. Uh, all those subscribers or followers, whatever whatever you want to call yourselves on the YouTube side. Thank you as well for all that. So, um, thank you to everyone who who watches or who who engages with us through the streams or videos or through the Discord. So. Um, I've probably talked enough. I've done enough promos um, via voice. So if anyone's still listening to this um, on the live side or on the recording side, uh, I appreciate you for listening. And um, either way, have a great Sunday evening. Um, if you're watching this tomorrow, whenever, have a great day, have a great evening, afternoon, whenever it is, have a great one. And we'll see you tomorrow night, Monday, uh, July 26th. DTM 95, Brands Hatch, Season 2 Championship, North America Race Room. Let's do it. I'm going to try to win it. That's my hope. At least finish. Finish, then win it. Trademark that. Either way, have a great evening. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time. Love y'all.